set in the mood. Hey plant nerds, welcome back to my channel. My YouTube recommended videos lately have been full of terrariums. I watched Harley G and her mom Steph Hall create their own terrariums. Betsy Begonia showed us her terrarium and I was just super inspired by all three of them. Their links or their channels can be found right up here. I do not have a terrarium to build today. However, I do have what is referred to as a Wardian case. This little guy. Now I got this guy a while ago and it's just been sitting empty. I never really thought it was a terrarium, but in my research in Wardian cases, I have realized that this guy right here is the OG terrarium. And it's thrown off some sweet, sweet Harry Potter vibe. And honestly, I've always wanted to express my inner Neville Longbottom. Oh yeah. Now, a little bit of history about Wardian cases. They were developed by Dr. Nathaniel Ward in 1829 in London, England. Dr. Ward loved ferns and wanted to grow ferns. However, he couldn't. Hey, Nate. It's 2019 and no one else can keep a fern alive either. In London at that time was an industrial boom. You had factories and you had coal creating smog, pollution, which then created acidic rain which all led to an environment that was not sustainable for plant growth. All of the plants kept dying. So one day he discovered in a sealed glass jar, there was a tiny spore from a fern that was germinating. And that gave him the idea of creating this glass case to create his own little environment for his plants. So with his design in the Wardian case, Dr. Ward was able to keep plants alive, but this case opened up trade. We could now take these plants, put them in a Wardian case, stick them on a ship, and they could go out into the world and we could trade between countries that had never been able to. We had English plants that were native to England that went to Australia. We had native plants to Australia that then came back to England and they went to all the other continents. And these weren't just your regular ornamental house plants. These plants were medicinal plants as well as produce plants. An Awardian case was actually the inspiration for our modern terrarium that we know, also the vivarium and even the aquarium. It all started with Dr. Ward's case. Sorry if you felt that history was boring. If you'd like to read up more on Dr. Ward and his case, I will include some links down in the description box below. It, it truly is fascinating to me, but for now, Let's start building mine. I'm just gonna put a few species of Peperomia inside the Wardian case. I think it is a plant species that will do well inside here. And I have a few that I picked out and you guys know I love my Peperomias. The first thing I'm going to do with the Wardian case is I'm gonna create a drainage layer. Now with terrariums, you would usually use gravel and then a layer of charcoal, but this dish is not very deep and I still want a good one and a half to two inches of soil. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put charcoal on the bottom of this and then I'll add soil on top of that. So my next step is to create a barrier between this draining layer that I've laid down. So what I'm gonna do is put a piece of window screen between the two and that'll stop the soil from settling into the charcoal. Now for my soil today, I'm using my well draining soil mix and this is basically just cactus and succulent soil mixed with some perlite and sphagnum moss and a little bit of orchid bark. It just gives it that chunky airiness that tropical plants enjoy. For the plants I have today for this Wardian case, I have a few versions of a Peperomia Ripple. I believe this one is the Peperomia Ripple Ruby. Uh, and I think this one may be an Emerald. I have my Peperomia that I have been propagating, the Peperomia Frost. And then the last plant I have to put in this case is this Parallel Peperomia. To plant these, I'm just gonna dig a little hole in this soil and stick the plant in there and just kind of cover it with the rest of the soil and pack it down so it doesn't move. When you take your plants out of the pot, you kind of want to remove as much soil as you can from the root ball and then kind of flatten a little because you don't want the roots to grow down, you want them to grow more horizontal. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so the last thing I'm gonna do before I place the lid on this case and put it on the shelf is just to give it a quick water. I'm just gonna dampen the soil a little bit. Okay, that's my case finished. Insert cool sliding shots here. With a Wardian case or a terrarium, you're basically creating an environment that has its own water cycle. The leaves of these plants will transpire along with evaporation of the water that's in your drainage layer. That will then condensate on the sides of your case. The condensation, once it builds up, will start raining down or precipitating back into your substrate, effectively watering your plants. You really only wanna see condensation in the morning hours and the night hours. If it's an all day condensation, chances are too much moisture is in your case or your terrarium. So the best thing to do in that situation is to air it out a little. That's my video for today. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up down below. Also, click that subscribe button if you have not done that yet. And as always, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. Please don't unsubscribe.